Indeed we are. We've left the dogs. They crossed over that big canyon, went the other side, and we thought, well, rather than trying to bash our way across with a dodgy tyre, we'd head home for the sweet smells of Amanda's breakfast. And I hope you don't mind. That was a magic way to spend the last hour of our drive. Wonderful wild dogs all to ourselves, which was fantastic. Here we are on the Arethusa International Airstrip. Now, of course, the first time I said that, people were scandalized. They said, how can you have an international airstrip in a, uh, in a game reserve? And the answer is that, of course, it is not an international airstrip at all. It is an airstrip where guests can fly in if they are well healed enough. I nearly said well endowed enough, but of course that means something else entirely. And has little to do with your ability to fly. Now, with 90 seconds left of the drive, it is uh, important for me to tell you that this afternoon we have two special things happening. Not one, <clears throat> no, but two special things. The first is that it is Draw a Bird Day. The great international festival that, of course, draws its, its history back to the time when the ancient cavemen uh, drew birds on the caves of Chavot in France. And it doesn't go back to there. I'm not sure why it's International Draw Bird Day, but I will certainly be drawing a bird because I'm really good at drawing birds. The second thing is that we have a special guest on drive today, familiar to some, familiar not so much to others. And so, yes, a special guest on drive this afternoon. So something to look forward to. Don't go anywhere. Well, you can go in away now, but not, of course, when we are live again at half past three this afternoon. Thank you for coming on drive. Thank you, David, for your efforts. A big thank you to Byron and to Jamie and to Herbert and to Fergus and to Senzo and mostly to all of you for coming on drive with us today. We will see you later at half past three. Bye-bye.